Uh, John Hilsenrath, give us the news. The Fed is holding steady, no change in interest rates, and no significant signal that they are planning to raise rates imminently. Uh, there are still a majority of officials who expect to raise rates this year, but that shifted a little bit, not a lot. Uh, in June, 15 of the 17 officials uh, surveyed by the Fed said they expected to raise rates this year. That's gone down to 13. Uh, so there's a little less conviction on moving this year. They uh, raise concerns about global economic and financial developments. They say this may restrain economic activity somewhat and likely to put downward pressure on inflation in the near term. And they also say they're monitoring developments abroad. This is a dovish statement from the Fed. Uh, they're not raising interest rates, and they're not sending a strong signal that they want to raise interest rates imminently. John, did we get any sense from them about what they think about the U.S. economy? Well, the U.S. economy is on stronger footing. They, you know, in particular the labor the labor market. They say the labor market has continued to improve, and there's solid gains in, in jobs and declining unemployment, and they're seeing diminished uh, uh, slack in the economy. They're not worried about that. What they're worried about is uh, persistently low inflation. They put out new projections on inflation going out to 2018. They don't see themselves hitting the, their inflation target until 2018, and that's one of the things that's giving them pause right now. Wow. Uh, John, Austin Goolsby is in Chicago, and he has a question for you. Austin. Yeah, John, in, from what you're hearing, how much do you think it would affect the Fed's thinking if you saw China or other currencies devalue more uh, versus the dollar? How much of that I think it is, would affect is involved their thinking, in their because they, thinking? They, they say in the statement they're monitoring developments abroad. I mean, that seems to me to be a, an indirect reference to the dollar. The dollar has gotten stronger. That's putting downward pressure on core and headline inflation. And they say they're watching this closely. If they see weakening overseas, if they see currencies uh, weakening overseas, then I think they're, that's going to register with them. Uh, John, Tony Crescenzi is with us here in the studio, and he wants to throw you a question. Hi, it's Tony Crescenzi from PIMCO. Uh, do you notice as well that the Fed says it expects the uh, developments abroad to affect the economy in the near term? Does right. this clearly then suggest that it expects to look through uh, recent volatility in markets and uh, its impact on the economy? Uh, well, that's, continue that's to a, go it's, a, like it's a fair point, and it's why we have to look at their interest rate projections, because it is, still, it is still the case that the majority of Fed officials expect to move this year. But I think you, we have to acknowledge when we look at the changes on the margin and what they're saying today, there's less conviction on that point. It used to be 15 of 17 officials. Now it's 13 of 17 officials. They do think that uh, – they do appear to think that these – pressures from overseas and market developments will subside in the near term. Uh, and they say it could affect economic activity somewhat. There's not, you know, a great deal of worry about this, but it's, it's on their radar screen. Um, and it is a potential impediment if it doesn't subside. Yeah. Okay. Uh, John, I know you have to write your leader, so we'll let you go. Thanks a All lot. Right. Thanks, guys. Bye.